In this video, I am going to introduce a new custom menu in the C47 calculator. Uh, this menu is called Vector 3D, and it's uh, put in place to help me manipulate 3D vectors to convert between coordinate systems, for example, Cartesian to cyl cylindrical to spherical, to find the angle between vectors, to find the distance between points that a vector is pointing to, and of course, other manipulations like the dot product and cross product. So I'm gonna introduce that menu in this video. Just a reminder, um, I have customized my C47. In fact, it's running now on a DM42N, and I've added some stickers on the trig keys. These are optional changes. Uh, you do not need to make these changes in order to take advantage of the things I'm gonna show in this, um, in this video. I've also customized my various menus. So my complex menu is customized, my stack, my trig menu, and my clear menu. These are all customized. Uh, again, it's just, it adds flexibility to be able to change the menus the way you like. And so that's something I've, I'm doing in my, in my calculator. But in this video, what I wanna introduce is a new menu that I created called Vector 3D. And this menu has a home under the complex key. So I put it up here on the G Shift F5 button or in the matrix menu. I also put it on G Shift F5 because 3D vectors are related somewhat to complex numbers and also related to matrices. Complex numbers are two dimensional vectors in one way of thinking. Um, and 3D vectors are, are implemented as a one by three matrix. So it makes sense to, to put it in both places. But let's just jump into the menu. So it looks like this. This is what I've created for my 3D vector. Um, and I just, I'll show it by using it. So um, let's say the first thing I wanna do is convert a rectangular coordinate vector, one comma one comma one, to spherical coordinates. So how would I do that? In this case, I would put one on the stack three times. So that's the X, Y, and Z values. And then this bottom F1 key will take the three values from the stack and put them into a vector format. And then now that I have a vector format, I can put the vector back onto the stack in different coordinate planes. So rectangular coordinates, cylindrical or spherical. In this case, I want spherical. So with those two presses of the button, I've now converted a vector from rectangular coordinates to spherical coordinates. So pretty straightforward. And that's the reason I created this menu. Um, let's do another one. This time, let's, let's clear the stack. Let's enter a vector in spherical coordinates and convert it to cylindrical. So in this case, it's one and then 45 degrees. So I have to tag this 45 in degrees and I need two entries of it. Now the nice thing is this routine that I wrote to convert the stack to a vector, it recognizes that the second and third entries are in angle format. So it knows that these three numbers represent a spherical coordinate system. It just, just, just figures this out automatically. So when I press stack to vector, it pulls it in the vector is always uh, put into rectangular for, uh, coordinates because there's no way to tag entries in the in the matrix or in the vector. Um, but now to get it to cylindrical, I just press the key vector to cylindrical, and there it is. It's converted from spherical to cylindrical coordinates. All right, one more example. Find the angle between these two vectors. So let's clear the stack. The first vector is 1, 45 degrees, 45 degrees and I'll put this into vector format. And then the second one is one, two, three. So one, two, three. And I also bring this into the vector. And then to find the, I want the angle between them. So we have this built-in routine to find the angle between two vectors. So I press that and I get the answer. It's 14.57 degrees. All right, and then one more problem. This time let's find the distance between two points. So we'll clear the stack. Again, it's one, 45 degrees, entered twice, bring it in as a vector. Then the second one is one, two, three, bring it in as a vector. And now to find the distance between two points, I just subtract one vector from the other. All right, now unfortunately I don't have room left in this menu to do a distance, uh, but I recognize that if I put the vector in spherical coordinates, then the R or radius of the sphere is the distance uh, between the two points. So, so unfortunately in this case, I'll just do roll down twice, but that is the distance between the two points, which I'm using spherical coordinates to give me that answer. Um, and I'll just show a couple other features in here um, and then I'll end this video. So let's clear the stack. 
I put unit vectors in the G shift on top row so I could take the unit vector for X and the unit vector for Y. And if I cross these two vectors, then I get the unit vector for Z. So X cross Y equals Z. Uh, and one more demonstration, just to clear that out. If I take the Y vector, for instance, and the Z vector, and I take the dot product of these two, I get a scalar answer of zero, which makes sense. So I think I've now touched on all the features in this new menu. Um, and yeah, this is what I'm introducing. So a vector, a 3D vector menu on the DM42, uh, on the C47 calculator, sorry, um, that makes it a little bit easier to do matrix, uh, to do vector manipulations. So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.